Okay, welcome to another Health X video. <clears throat> now, in today's video, I wanted to explain how to identify if your mobility scooter batteries have gone or are going and you need some a new set to sort of get going. Now, a for sure sign if you bought a scooter online or you know, if you bought a brand new scooter, obviously the batteries are going to be fine and you won't need to worry. But if you bought a used scooter and you're thinking, mm, or even your own scooter, and you're thinking, hmm, are the batteries okay on this? Now, on this Invercare Leo, I've tried to get the camera in position as best I can so you can see here. We've got a total of one battery bars down. Now, I'm pretty sure these batteries are only about a year old, so we, sh we should be okay. Um, I've run a drop test on them and they're showing back as okay. But for a sure sign would be to notice how fast it's how fast the batteries are going down. If you sat on it and you know it's it's normal to lose one or two bars if you're going up a hill that's very steep, that's that's normal because it'll go back up. Um, basically the idea is for the scooter to tell you how long the batteries have left in them. It does that by telling, it does that by seeing how many volts are in the batteries and going from there. Batteries are 12 volts each, so you should be getting a good reading of 24 volts, but a good set of batteries will be way over that. They should be somewhere around 26 volts. Um, that means they've got plenty of life left in them. Um, so for, for sure signage to do, I've got the back end raised here. If we just turn it on, this is at full speed, it's a four mile an hour. You see the battery gauge isn't going down. We can leave this on for a minute, we can pat the horn, put the front lights on. These batteries aren't going down just yet. The Leo is a four mile an hour. It has 33 ampere hour batteries on it. So this would have a range of somewhere around 10 to 12 miles. Um, so these are gonna be okay for a while. But if I was riding it, you've got the additional weight on top, as well as you know a couple of other factors going uphill, going downhill. Um, if you notice the bars start to go down relatively quickly, and maybe let's say it goes down three bars in one second, this is a sh for sure. Unless on a, on a flat, you know, make sure you double check the weight limit of your scooter because if you're let's say 180 kilograms and you're getting on a scooter like this that's suitable for 150 kilograms you're gonna notice the battery's gonna go down faster. Okay, now all of this depends, you know, if you're slightly heavier, um, you're gonna want to look for a bigger model, an eight mile an hour, something with 50 plus ampere hour batteries with a long range, you know, I know the Rascal Pioneers, we've got a couple of those refurbished. We always put a pair of brand new 75 ampere hour batteries on those models. Um, so you're good. Um, you can see the battery's gone down another one here now. I've got the light on. This is interesting to see here. So this to me is a good sign that this may need a new set of batteries here. You know, the drop test can always tell us it's good, but we want the best. But as we were saying, this has not got, this is a Leo, so it's not got the best mile range going. Um, and it's a four mile an hour, which is not the best. But this is the kind of scooter you'd have for somewhere, say you're going on holiday, you just want to go, you know, maybe go down to maybe a two, three, four mile ride down to the bingo in, in the town. You know, this is ideal. We've actually gone back up a bar there, so that was just excessive use there. We turn the light off, see what we get. Um, these, these are holding up well though here. But we, we want to make sure it's doing the full mile range before we send the scooter out. But so, you know, indicators like, the, the, the bar's going down quicker than they should. Um, make sure you check your weight limit, as I've said previously, because that will mess things up with the batteries. Um, now, so we've got, we've got a couple of things. We've got, if the batteries, if the lights are going down too fast, that's a good indicator. You know, check your scooter. Each scooter has a different mile range. A Rascal Pioneer will have a 35 mile range. Whereas, like I said earlier, this will have a 10 or 12. So obviously, this is gonna, the Rascal's gonna last a lot longer. It's gonna take a lot more, you know, distance to take the battery power down on those because they're higher batteries, more capability. With mobility scooters, every mobility scooter, every single one, always has a, a total voltage of 24 volts. Always, all of them. There's not one that doesn't. Um, and, they're all, and the only difference is ampere hours, which means the storage of that electricity. 
How long will it last? How much can it store of that 12 volts? So simply, it's as simple as that really. Um, say these are holding just fine. I'll leave this on just to show you how. Yeah, these are absolutely fine. So you know, if, if these were bad batteries, we'd probably be on three, bar three right now. You know, we, we've gone down one bar and I've held this on for a good, you know, four minutes now or so. Um, you know, this would be bar two now, go keep going down bar three and then eventually it just cut out. Couple of other things. Um, if you're riding it and it stops, starts beeping, uh, that's 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 a good indicator as well. Um, you know, it's pretty obvious to tell if your batteries are going wrong. You know, li the light will be dim at the front. Um, you want a really bright LED light when you're going ahead and uh, having a good set of batteries on there. Um, you know, and just basically just check your scooter. If it's doing the range it says, if it's not, they need to be replaced. Now, replacements, it's best to be done by somebody who knows what they're doing. Now, a lot of people in mobility will just tell you, oh, it's the best to do what they're doing. The fitting cost is not that much. It's not, you know, it's, the fitting cost isn't that much. It's best for everyone's safety to get it done professionally. You don't want to have some incident. You know, I've seen a couple of incidents in my time. I've been doing the mobility game for a while now, and I've seen a couple of incidents that are nasty. You know, if, if the connections touch, you know, a lot of them, so I've seen some people put them on without, they have protective rubbers over the, the holes where the, ba where the battery connectors go. I've seen them without protective covers. And if they're not strapped in and you go over a hill and they touch, they will spark. And if there's anything to catch fire, it will catch fire. You don't want to fire. The fitting cost isn't that much. Get it sorted, it's not a problem. Now, if you are gonna buy the batteries, we supply every single type of battery for every um, normal uh, mobility scooter. If we do supply lithium, um, but we, if, you know that's a limited range at the moment. You know, by the time you're watching this video, we probably have them all in stock. We're growing as fast as we can. But every single ampere hour we have in, we have 10, 12, ranging all the way up to 75 and 100. Um, with very quick delivery on the batteries. We always sell them as a pair, never replace the batteries individually. I've seen that once or twice. Very, very silly idea, don't do that. The battery will just, that battery that's the strongest um, will we'll just go down just as quickly because the, the weaker battery will use all the power from that battery and bring it down to the same uh, voltage and it just won't be good. Both batteries need to be replaced by the correct ampere hours as the same as the manufacturer's specifications. If you take a scooter that's meant for 50 ampere hour batteries and you go ahead and put 33 ampere hour batteries, the manual is basically worth chucking in the bin. It's, it's pointless. They need the exact right ampere hours because if you don't, if it says on the manual that it does a 25 mile range, when you put those 33 on instead of 50, you're gonna get a six mile range or a, a seven mile range, whatever it would be. It needs to be the correct amount. Um, it will not affect the mile per hour. This is simply, that's, that's, that's irrelevant. If you put 33 ampere hour, it'll still do eight mile an hour. Don't let that confuse you. Um, every single scooter needs to have the correct ampere hour. If you're struggling, check the manual or hit us up on the live chat at www.healthx.store. Gladly, I can help you. One of the team can help you. We pretty much got 24 seven support. You know, just hit us a message. I want some batteries for this model. Give us five minutes. We'll get back to you with the exact product that you need. Fast delivery and brand new batteries. Um, you know, there's not much more to it than that. You know, it's always good to, you know, don't let the batteries go flat. You know, I've seen, once, once they go flat, you try and charge them again. Eh, yes, it will work, but it will be more like 25% of what it was. You want to make sure that the batteries are always kept on charge. Don't let it go under 12 volts. You know, 12 volts would be somewhere around uh, the light number one or two. Um, depending on the model, you know, some will show 12 volts in the middle to try and keep the batteries healthy, which is a wise idea. Um, but if you know, or if, you, if, if you're getting somebody to do it, get them to check the voltage. It should be way above 24 volts. Somewhere around 25 or 26 volts would be a healthy battery. Um, again, don't buy batteries that are too big. 
if you were to try and put 50 ampere hours on this Leo, that's about the max it could do. You don't want to put 20 to 75 ampere hours, it won't fit in the slots. They have dedicated slots. Also, make sure that some of them will have um, certain connectors that if aren't installed will cause more sparking and just issues. You just want to make sure it's done correctly with the right ampere hour, with brand new batteries and we'll be good to go. Any problems or any questions, hit us a message. Or if you're still struggling and you're thinking, is my battery good? If not, comment below or, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll also reply to those comments or again, www.healthx.store. There'll be a live chat in the bottom right corner. Message me, I can get you some new batteries sent out straight away. Um, we also sell the deep cycle batteries. Um, they're the ones that will last longer. Um, a deep, deep cycle, will just, it, it won't mean they'll last longer, it just means that the longevity of the battery will be longer. Um, it won't provide a longer range. The range will be limited to if it's a 12 volt, 12 volt, 75 ampere hour, it'll do a range of a 12 volt, 75 ampere hour. It doesn't mean that deep cycle means it's the longevity of the battery will last longer. So you get more for your money instead of buying, replacing batteries every two to three years. So uh, that's it really everybody. If you wanna say, go ahead, every single type of battery we have for sale, www.healthx.store. I can help you out. Send us a message, I'm always there to help. Um, any questions you have, comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. It's not a problem. Thanks everybody. Talk soon.